Have you ever prayed But never got an answer And wondered if God was really there Did you feel all hope was gone But in his time he came along And answered the prayer you thought was gone Just what you want But he always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember there is no prayer to shall receive no matter what it is I still believe there is no prayer too small and even when we fall he gives us just exactly what we need there is no prayer too small Just what you want But he always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember There is no prayer to small No prayer to small He always Ralph Friedrich, I'm an addiction recovery coach and the host of To Take Your Life Back today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you. Let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You tried lifting the lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from opening it. You try banging on the lid to hopefully unsettle the dirt. Maybe somebody will notice and start digging their way up towards you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you don't know where to go, but you don't know even how to start. There are people standing by your grave. You just think you're going to die. Usually, though, you don't think about death when they're virtually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. 
I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while abusing drugs and alcohol that you might overdose and take something away that God had given to you, called life? And if that's not selfish enough, you'll take that life away from the people that love and need you most, mother, father, husband, wife, brother, sister, children, and even your grandchildren. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be like the person that went to their grave without seeking help. Be the person that is watching me right now that knows that they have a situation that can get help by calling me or many other people. Call me at 844-405-HELP. I promise I'll help you take your life back for your life is gone. There are people, other people you can call. You can call people like Larry Geis, over 30 years experience as a life coach and addiction recovery coach. 516-458-2741 or www.odysseyconsult.org Larry Geis and I always tell folks like you it doesn't matter where you've been, it doesn't matter where you came from what matters is that you're here looking for a better today and a brighter tomorrow call Larry Geis at 516-458-2741 Larry Geis from the Geis Academy www.odysseyconsultant.org don't forget to put your slippers under your bed at night in the morning, get on your knees and go and get those slippers. They're under your bed. While you're on your knees, utilize a thing called an email. That's a personal chat line between you and God each and every morning. When you talk to God in the morning, thank Him for a home, clothing, food, health, family. Ask God for guidance and direction, forgiveness and mercy. This is your personal time between you and God. I call it email, K-N-E-E mail. Your personal opportunity, your personal relationship with God each and every morning. An email. Your personal time with God. Now put those slippers on and walk with God 24-7. Folks, by, well, bipolar disorder versus depression. What is the difference? Bipolar disorder and depression are very similar illnesses with one major difference. People with bipolar disorder switch between episodes of, uh, let's say, depression and episodes of mania. Because these two illnesses are so similar, some people who are diagnosed as having depression may actually have bipolar disorder. One reason for this uh, misdiagnosis is that people with bipolar disorder often only seek treatment during depressive episode times. They may also be unaware that uh, when they are not feeling depressed, they may actually be experiencing an episode of mania. Here's more information about the differences between bipolar disorder and dis uh, depression. Let's first find out what is depression. Clinical or major depression is a serious illness that affects every aspect of an individual's life, including their personal and family relationships, work, or school life, sleeping and eating habits, and general health. The symptoms of depression include the following. You have a loss of energy. Prolonged sadness, decreased activity and energy combined, relentlessness and irritability, inability to concentrate or make decisions, increased feelings of worry and anxiety, less interest or participation in and less enjoyment of activities normally enjoyed by everyday people, feelings of guilt and hopelessness, thoughts of suicide change in appetite, either eating or more eating uh, uh, or eating less, change in sleep patterns, either sleeping more or sleeping less. Now, that was depression. Let's talk about what is bipolar. Bipolar disorder, also known as maniac depression, is a mental health condition that causes extreme shifts in moods that alternate between highs or mania and lows or depression. These maniac and depressive periods vary from person to person and can last for just a few hours or days to several weeks and even months. Sometimes these periods of intense emotions are so brief that, and so far between that many people may not even be aware that they have bipolar disorder. Sometimes these cycles are so strong and close together that it's very difficult to maintain a normal life and have a normal relationships. Bipolar depression shares many of the same symptoms of regular depression. Maniac episodes are often harder to identify because many people don't understand that the symptoms of ma what the symptoms of mania really consist of. If you have experienced episodes of depression followed by following symptoms of mania, you may have bipolar disorder. An extremely elated, happy mood, or an extremely irritable, angry, unpleasant mood 
increased physical and mental activity and energy, racing thoughts, increased talking, more rapid speech than normal, ambitions, often grand way plans, risk-taking, impulsive activities such as spending sprees, sexual indiscretion, and alcohol abuse, decreased sleep without experience fatigue. Those are the signs. Ask yourself, do I have depression or do I have bi bipolar disorder? Or maybe I have none of the two mentioned. The depressive phase of bipolar disorder shares many similarities to regular depression, including prolonged sadness, inability to concentrate, loss of energy, difficulty sleeping, and thoughts of suicide. People with bipolar depression, however, tend to have more than unpredictable mood swings, more irritability and guilt, and more feelings of restlessness. They also tend to move and speak slowly, sleep a lot, and gain weight. According to HelpGuide.org, your depression might be bipolar disorder if you've experienced repeated episodes of major depression. You had your first episode of major depression before the age of 25. You have a first degree relative uh, with bipolar disorder. When you're not depressed, your mood and energy levels are higher than most people's. When you are depressed, you oversleep, overeat. Your episodes of major depression are short, less than three months. You've lost contact with reality while being depressed. You've had postpartum depression before in your life. You've developed mania or hypomania while taking antidepressant medication. Your antidepressants stop working after several months. You've tried three or more depressants without any success whatsoever. Depression and bipolar disorder treatment. There are a variety of effective treatments, options available for depression and bipolar dep uh, disorder, including the following, medication, psychotherapy, holistic therapies. If you believe you have depression, it's important to see mental health professionals who are specialized in mood disorders so that you are properly diagnosed. Bipolar depression is treated differently than regular depression, so misdiagnosis can potentially lead to more dangerous problems, including the fact that antidepressants can actually make bipolar disorder worse. And be careful with the, uh, with the antidepressants so you don't become addicted to them with everything else happening. At Casa Palomara, we believe in treating depression. And this is a, just so you know, Casa Palomara is a rehab center. So at their rehab center, they believe in treating depression, bipolar disorder, and other mood disorders with traditional treatments like therapy and medication. But we also believe in a holistic approach that includes alternative methods of treatment such as yoga, acupuncture, and herbal medicine. Give me a call at 844-405-HELP so I can help direct you to the proper people. There are thousands of rehab centers that are out there that can help you, but you need to pick the proper one for you. And that's what I'm here for at 844-405-HELP. That's what Larry Geis is there for, 516-458-2741, and thousands of other life coaches and, and addiction recovery coaches. We are here as the bridge between your depression and bipolar, and you getting better between addiction and recovery. We're the bridge between depression and happy times. We are the bridge between low self-esteem and raising it. Call me 844-405-HELP and let me help you take your life back.
but never got an answer and wondered if God was really there. Did you feel all hope was gone? But in his time he came along and answered the prayer you thought was gone. There is no prayer to song, for God hears them all. The answer may not be just what you want. But he always knows what's right Even when we think it's wrong Just remember there is no prayer too small I have read it for you We'll ask you shall receive Just exactly what we 